Today, we are going to be reacting to the revenge of Tiamat. Now, if you guys have seen Godzilla X Kong, which I'm sure you have, you saw Tiamat get absolutely disrespected. But what if Tiamat didn't die? I mean, we saw it happen, but like, what if it didn't happen? We're going to see what would happen if she comes back and gets revenge in this video. Speaking of Tiamat, though, we did just see her in our recent gaming video over on Kaiju Cappy. We're playing the Kong Survivor Instinct, and we just recently came across Tiamat in the game. She's giant. She's scary. You guys should go check out that channel. But without further Further ado, we are hopping straight into Goji Center, the revenge of Tiamat explained. Let's get Those it. Those of you who watched GXK and witnessed this scene may have probably thought that Godzilla finally put an end to this rivalry. I mean, I would say yes, he Goji yeah. Center, we also thought the same. Wait, is she However, not? However, new updated information on this I mean, rivalry has been revealed. Not only she making the, the history of this rivalry That's more the game interesting, I was talking but about, also by the way. laying bare the fact that this war this between one right Tiamat and Godzilla is not over. How is that on possible? On the contrary, this conflict between two apex titan species has just begun subscribe to not miss any of these I episodes like discussing I your like favorite to see monster back. versus kaiju if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe get into button this rivalry and hit that like Luigi button if has it. talked a good bit about titanus tiamat already from first discussing how it we've seen a lot of team godzilla in godzilla dominion discussing its newly revealed titan dossier that was when i first found out about tiamat depicted in that godzilla video. kong the new empire for a titan that was extremely powerful on paper, many right. were baffled upon witnessing how easily Godzilla Let dispatched this Let me know how baffled you were seeing this fight in the movie. at least. At this point, was it baffled. was easy to think that this was the ultimate end of Tiamat. But no, today we are going to bring up two brand new and official bits of information, storyline, and lore that more Monster or less tells us that this feud between the sea serpents and Godzilla is far from over. In I like the new that. graphic Far novel Monsterverse Declassified, we get some information about Tiamat that explains how she turned from this to this. And a very interesting detail at the end of the story and Rate bad of decay. news for Godzilla. In this graphic novel, we are introduced to some history hey, regarding the villains Tiamat. could be built Here, up we see crazy her in the same form as when she teams. appeared in Godzilla Dominion. Blue and purple scales with Devils. translucent no, fins, wings that acted as flippers for navigation underwater. The book depicts the many instances throughout history where Tiamat would purposefully attack human civilizations over time. Our best guess here is that Tiamat would develop so an yes, acquired taste for attacking humanity, earning her the title of Destroyer seen in Tiamat's Monarch Dossier. As we reach the modern era, Tiamat would continue her warpath, disrupting human civilization, war operations, and ultimately immortalizing her in legends That's why and Godzilla myth. had to body. But what of he her evolution? More power. After and it was the good events to just of Godzilla Dominion, after Godzilla kicked her out of his former lair, Tiamat began looking for a new place to thrive, making her way to the Arctic Ocean. Now, those who have seen Godzilla Kong will recall a few things about this location. In the MonsterVerse, this place served as a stockpile of radiation courtesy of solar obliterated. energy, making it one of the largest reservoirs of solar radiation on the planet. And Tiamat was here to take possession of it. Oh, yeah. Of course, another Titan would have already been here. She was cooking. that this Titan was here may Unknown explain Titan. why Godzilla Who was that? hasn't previously taken possession of this place earlier. In this graphic novel, we find Tiamat entering this icy cave when all of a sudden another Titan taking the form See, of See, I haven't read the novel. Let me know in the comments Tiamat if you have. And starts a battle that would end badly for the defeated Titan. This Titan remains unnamed for now. Despite this, we must mention that this creature does have some strong Star, resemblance bro. with a few screenshots taken from Godzilla from, uh, King of the Monsters. That one we resembling to, like, those images ago. of Titanus Typhon. Typhon. This isn't fully confirmed yet. During the battle, this creature shoots out a hot, viscous, bioluminescent substance. The side effects of getting stained by this I'm is not a big fan of that one. Some not a big fan damage, of Typhon. You don't look cool enough. Through Tiamat's armor. Tiamat escapes the Echinoderm's grasp and begins a deadly counterattack, swimming rapidly around this creature, disorienting it, and this time ensnaring the starfish. With its bladed there fins and strong serpentine body, well, we know that Tiamat, Tiamat manages to rip the Echinoderm oh, right yeah. in half, sending its severed Ripped body in down into the sea floor. This victory established Tiamat as well, the proprietor of this energy cooked. source, and here we see that she wasted no time and surrendered herself to the effects of this energy source. Similar to how Godzilla allowed she himself started cooking to be engulfed up. by layers of ice and bioradiation phenomena, Tiamat cocooned herself in her new lair and would see a better over fight time evolve Tiamat and into Godzilla. a different Maybe form, one day. evolving into a titan with many more bladed fins, four appendages, and a magenta bioluminescent glow reminiscent of the energy stored here. 
and capable of inheriting Team always some reminds defensive me of traits of the Titan that used to thrive in this location. In the newly released console game, Kong That's Survival the game, Instinct, bro. I've been having a blast on that game. Kaiju again, this Make sure y'all check us out. New form and using this We're having fun over there. Weapon, a pink viscous corrosive substance capable of burning through hardened armor and organic Hey, come substances. on, man. I haven't played that part yet. So, what does this evolution have anything to do with the continued yeah, rivalry between Tiamat and Godzilla? Well, there's more. Kong Survival Instinct's storyline includes a shocking revelation that dictates that Godzilla will potentially fight sea serpents once again. And yes, that's serpents. Plural serpents? Here. Let us explain. The story of Team Kong's Survival family? Instinct is an interesting one. In the game, we learned that shortly after the events of Godzilla vs. Kong, that being in 2024, Alan Jonah was still at large and was the head of a mercenary group known as Hyena. Oh, we shot Jonah. These folks specialized <laughs> we in the shot black him. Market trade, organic remains of titans, and other sorts of megafauna. Throughout the story, we learned that these guys managed to capture a specimen that would hold great importance to this one, Tiamat. Who That's the part where we ended about? that last episode Ladies on Kaiju Cabby. We are talking about Lahana, the offspring of Titanus Tiamat. Lahu? That's right. Lady Tiamat is officially a mother now, and Lahamu now joins the ranks of Monsterverse Kaiju. Lahamu? In this story, Lahamu is still relatively small by Titan standards, measuring possibly the around 90 gonna grow. to 100 feet in length. Given that titans in this game are scaled at a smaller size, that being so they can interact better with the human characters and fit on screen, it's possible that any official size of Lahamu may surpass the 100-foot range. Regardless of this, it is the it physical adorable. attributes of Lahamu that you. make it more interesting. I don't it know what it's going to look like as it that grows, Lahamu but... does have a striking resemblance to Titanus Tiamat. And after a bit, we do get confirmation that yes, this is indeed look at Tiamat's Lahamu. daughter. Additionally, according to the mythological origins of Lahamu, the Mesopotamian goddess Tiamat was said to have two offspring, one being Lamu, the son, and Lahamu, the daughter. Lamu and Lahamu. In this game, Lahamu, although being Tiamat's daughter, does differ in some way or form. If we look closely at both of these specimens, so where's the Lahamu big fella? Differs in that she where's the boy? The same coloration as her mother at this point in time, with silver scales and body color and different colors. And who's fins. the father? Her tongue, unlike her parents, splay out like petals, and this one only has one pair of appendages, unlike her mother, who has four. Now, there is probably some explanation as to why she looks different. If we take into account Tiamat in her previous form before she evolved, we see a resemblance right, I mean, to that makes sense. But what about the father? It would make sense. And types of fins. Meaning that whenever Tiamat no gave father. birth to Lahamu, the offspring may have adopted physical characteristics of both Tiamat's evolved and previous form. That's kind of sick. this is just the beginning. This one, however, mutated enough to take in other additional properties. It is mentioned in-game in Lahamu's creature profile that this one has advanced camouflage capabilities, allowing advanced her to be borderline camo. invisible. What a savage. But some of you may be thinking, how is a juvenile Lahamu going to threaten Godzilla? Surely even it's an gonna invisible grow. We've sea got serpent years. would still be detected by an overly sensitive alpha titan with alternative Maybe Lahamu's quick to detect with other kaiju. And plus, Tiamat is 100% confirmed to be dead after Godzilla turned her okay, into so a slice is dead. in the Arctic. <laughs> well, about that. Going back to Monsterverse Declassified, there's still a part of the story we have to tell you guys about. Huh? The beginning of the chapter that depicts Tiamat actually begins with a monarch scientist that arrives on the site where Tiamat had just been executed. Right. She takes a sample saw of this that. titan's remains, and after another time jump in the book, we are taken to a post-GXK scene in an underground Hollow Earth facility underneath the energy stockpile, where another shocking revelation is introduced. They're gonna make one, in aren't an they? In analysis lab, the just sample like they taken did with by the monarch scientist is revealed to have a 0% rate of decay. What is this? Or maybe Let's not. Let's find out. For you to fully comprehend how crazy this is and how serious this problem will get for Godzilla, here's what rate of decay means. Put very simply, rate of decay refers to how quickly something diminishes or rots over time. In physics and biology, well, that's it's over used time, to describe though. how quickly a radioactive substance will lose its energy and mass. That's not saying like you can't burn a flower. Rate of decay is you know? half life. If you grab a piece of Titan tissue, for instance, and it has a half-life of five years, it means that in five years, only half of the radiation in this Titan tissue will remain. After another five sense. years, then only a quarter of the energy will be left, and so on. Here, Tiamat's remains show signs of zero decay, meaning that this stuff is still radioactive. 
And in this universe, this means that whatever body parts can be salvaged, it's still viable to be able to clone or regenerate. They're gonna clone one. Oh and no. what do we have oh, here? of course, After dude, Godzilla what is once that? once again decapitated another Titan, Monarch was able to recover yet another head left behind Bro, by the G-Man. Y'all gotta this quit, time, man. Hinting at you the fact that the conflict between Tiamat and her species is not over yet. So, where was Lahamu when Godzilla barged it's into not gonna her be mother's Tia lair and gonna be killed her? Tia Rogue. We don't have any confirmation about Lahamu's whereabouts as of now, but it is possible Lahamu that and as Tia Godzilla Rogue. was fighting Tiamat in the icy waters, Lahamu was able to barely make her escape. That, or she would have matured enough to not rely on her mother's protection in the events of GXK. Oh no, Gus. If Lahamu is I'm alive for Godzilla. GXK, there is no doubt that Lahamu will search for vengeance. And if this Tiamat does somehow regenerate, or if a clone is developed, Godzilla will not only have to worry about a vengeful titan, but potentially but a the wrath of a reproducing species. Oh, Godzilla could be cooked, bro. I, I don't know if I like it for him. Or at the same time, you know, he could be even stronger in the next movie, and it won't even matter. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love ya. Goodbye.